Greetings, Tubidors, and as always, I hope that you're feeling well, and especially right now in these uh, somewhat unprecedented times. And I know that to many, it might look like uh, like the apocalypse has come, but uh, follow the guidelines, and hopefully we'll all be back to some semblance of normality, possibly by the summer. These are indeed interesting times. Now, straight to business. The last video that I uploaded um, concerned the death of one Pastor Landon Spradlin. Now, if you've seen that video, you know he contracted and succumbed to the COVID-19 virus after spending a great deal of time in his previous weeks uh, telling his faithful flock that COVID-19 was nothing more than a giant hoax that was perpetrated by the, uh, the left in order to topple Trump from his presidency. So with that in mind, you think it possibly couldn't get any worse than Pastor Spradlin spreading nonsense and putting people's lives in danger. But buckle up, because it does get worse. In fact, it gets a lot worse. Now, I'm sure that some of you must be familiar with this snake oil salesman. His name is Kenneth Copeland, and he is one of the most, um, if not the most, influential television evangelists operating in the United States today. And thanks to the uh, thanks to the pledges of his adoring multi-million strong congregation, his ministry is worth an absolute fortune. Um, it owns a 1,500-acre estate, and on that estate, there's a church, there's a private airstrip, um, there's a hangar for the ministry's private jet, and there's also a $6 million church-owned mansion in which Pastor Copeland no doubt enjoys the fruits of other people's labours. Um, he pays no tax on any of this because it's registered as um, as a religious institution. And he is also on record as saying that the reason he needed a private jet was because he didn't want to be stuck in the sky in a metal tube with demons. This is the sort of person we're dealing with here. Uh, because of the way the US health system works, many can't afford even the most basic of medical care. So in the face of COVID-19, as you might imagine, there are a lot of frightened people about. Now, those who still hold to these medieval myths of the, the pre-scientific age um, almost always turn to their churches in times of trouble, in times of fear. And I've got no doubt that people like Copeland are enjoying seeing their bank accounts bulge um, in direct proportion to the level of fear that their flock are experiencing. Now, you would think it is probable that he would offer some uh, some words of consoling. Um, he would offer up praise for their potentially potentially imminently departing souls, and I'm sure that he has been through that charade in a very public way. But Kenneth Copeland has gone one better. Kenneth Copeland acting as a conduit for God's power and glory, has defeated the coronavirus. You heard me right. He has defeated it, and he has cast it from America's shores. And to prove it, here is one and a half minutes straight from the horse's arse. In the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Standing in the office of the prophet of God, I execute judgment on you, COVID-19. Oh, I execute judgment on you, oh. Satan, you destroyer, you killer, you get out, you break your power, you get off this nation. I demand Amen. judgment on you. I demand, oh. I demand, I demand a vaccination to come immediately. Yes. I call you done. I call you done gone. You come down from your Amen. place of authority, destroyer. You come down and you crawl on your oh. belly like God commanded you when he put his foot on your head in the Garden of Eden. You will destroy 
through COVID-19. No more. No more. No more. It. No more. Is finished. Finished. It is over. And the United States of America is healed and well again. Now, if you feel the same way about this video as I do, then it will beggar your belief that such a flagrant lie can be made without fear of prosecution. And it is a blatant and indefensible lie that is genuinely putting people in mortal danger. Um, let's define what a lie is though. Uh, to lie is to make a statement to another person or persons with the intention that the other person believe that statement to be true. Now, in order for it not to be a lie, it must be provable. Uh, there must be a body of evidence that will prove beyond any reasonable doubt that that which is proposed is evidentially and objectively true. Nothing that Kenneth Copeland said meets those criteria. Now, imagine the people then that follow him, millions of them, so caught up with the fear of COVID-19 and assured of their own absolute but sadly misguided trust in this evil individual. Now, they are extremely likely to trust his word that through the power and glory of God, the disease has now been cast out. They and America are now safe. And he does tell them that they are safe. Here's another minute from the same video we watched just a, a moment ago. The spirit life of COVID-19 has dried up. It's dead. It's dead. It's, it's dead. done. It has ceased. Yes. It has ceased to exist. Yes. It's beginning to shrivel. Yes. It's beginning to draw yes. up and shrivel yes. and disintegrate. Yes. At exactly 12 noon <laughs> on the 29th day of March. Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Come it's on, over. give God glory and praise and honor for this. It's, it's over. over. It's oh, over. it's over. So with that in mind, what is it, though, that you think that these poor, trusting souls who follow Kenneth Copeland and are members of his ministry, what is it that you think they're going to do now? Now, this evil piece of sputum has told them that COVID-19 is over, that they're safe, Right. These people are going to believe it. They'll probably cram into their churches um, in huge numbers. They, they'll, they'll sing, they'll dance, they'll shout their praise of God and all his little pixies. They'll throw thousands of dollars into the collection boxes. Then they'll go home without the first thought that they have just accelerated the spread of a potentially deadly virus within their communities. These people are to be pitied more than condemned. It's people like Kenneth Copeland that we should be condemning. Um, the people who follow him, um, they believe that the, the devil, you know, this imaginary Satan is, is the great deceiver. They often call him the great deceiver, but it's people like Copeland who are the great deceivers. These evil men and women who prey on the unthinking with their outrageous claims. And they think that they can back these claims up simply by citing um, a two and a half thousand year old, very badly written book and a book that wasn't written until hundreds of years after the events that it supposedly documents. Um, they take the money from these people and then laugh all the way back to their tax-free mansions, whilst the poor souls they minister to will go back to their meagre lives with very likely a vastly increased chance of contracting a disease that has certainly has the potential to kill them. They'll go back to their families, they'll they'll spread it, their families will go out. They also rejoice in the fact that Copeland has now freed them of this vile disease and they'll go on and they'll continue to spread it to other people. And if there is an evil in the world, then it's not contained within the persona of some 
imaginary demon. Um, it's not contained with in the unscientific tome of myths and nonsense they call the Bible. It is people like Copeland. And they genuinely should be stopped. Just think about that for a moment. Anyway, rant over, folks. Rant over. Um, if you've made it this far, thank you very much. Um, if you're not already a subscriber, um, if you are, Thank you very much. If you're not, please do consider subscribing. Click the subscribe button, click the bell notification, and YouTube will send you an email on my behalf the next time I upload a video. So, again, thank you for watching. Stay well, stay safe. COVID-19 is very, very real. And if we stick to the guidelines, we'll get through it. Eventually, we'll get through it. So, until next time, be well. Be nice to each other. I'll catch you soon. Hoi vaur.